Hi, Cizrin here with another video, and this is a collab with Boardman21. So I'm bringing you some of the brightest and best Last Epoch creators to showcase a really cool build. And this is using footage from the closed test server given to us by uh, 11 Hour Games. We are going to be showcasing a dive bomb falconer. So you might have already seen our reveal showing off a lot of the falconer, and this is a full build guide for that. And as you can see in the background, the Falcon is just slamming down on everything. Just very strong build. And this sounds very OP. And from what Boardman is saying, it is very OP. And he's going to be league starting or chapter starting this. So you can come by and ask him questions and he can give you a lot of advice. So the build has really good damage, really good clear. I don't know, this might get nerfed eventually, but it's very strong. So I'm thinking about playing this myself at launch. And if you're not familiar with Last Epoch as well, I do have a lot of beginner guides and uh, how to play Last Epoch and how to get into it on my channel. And if you're interested, a great way to support the channel is that you can buy Last Epoch through my Nexus link, which is in the description down below, and I get a kickback. So first off, let's take a look at the Maxwell article. For those of you that follow me for my Path of Exile content, you might be used that I'm using the third party program, Path of Building. However, Maxwell has most tools built into it. And if you can see here, you can hover over skills like Dive Bomb, and I'll actually show you what it does. So you have really good technology here and uh, you can hover over items and things. Now, some things will be changing a little bit um, before launch because things are still being updated, things are still being done, but this will have a fully updated Maxwell article. And I really wanted to show off that and how good it is because you can follow those. So if we look further down on the site, we can see pros and cons of the build. So the Falconer gets a little bit low health sustain and it doesn't have the greatest mana management, etc. but it has a lot of pros and it is kind of OP. And if we scroll down again, we can see that we have the skills and you can hover over them. And at the bottom, there is a step-by-step -step feature showing you exactly where to put points when you need them. So you don't get confused about what points to follow first. And this is actually for all of the different skills of the Falconer. So you can click on one and it still has that same step-by-step -step feature. And if we scroll further down again, it has the exact same thing for the passive tree. So you don't need to worry about what passes am I taking at what point. The guide does all of that for you. And it's very easy to follow. Everything like gear, et cetera, will be showcased in this as well. So it'll give you like, what is the best gear to get? What do you need to scale the most? And what uniques, if any, do you need? So very easy to follow. And uh, Boardman's done a really good job here. Now we're going to have Boardman run an endgame monolith with the Falconer and we're going to ask him some questions as he's playing through the map and he'll be showing off each skill and what it does for the build. So the main thing you're going to do is have explosive trap which will rain down traps from the sky and as you use that uh, it'll do damage for you. You also get health sustain every time you fire it off you'll get some health back and then the big thing is it'll boost your Falcon's damage every time that you use it and hit an enemy. So this is a little similar to Toxic Rain from Path of Exile, right? Yeah, very similar. Explosive Trap itself is sitting for very, very little. Uh, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage, especially as you scale up in the end game. The Falcon itself is is doing almost all the damage. Oh, okay. I'd say 95% of it. And then we also have Aerial Assault for our, our, our transversal skills so we can move around. Yeah. It'll also let our Falcon do that Feather Storm it's doing. Um, but our main damaging skill is going to be Dive Bomb, which I have going off every time it comes off cooldown. So I'm always trying to make sure I'm aiming for the pack of mobs. And you can see every time he comes down, that he just finishes them off for me in that huge area that he hits. If you don't want to do the numlock trick, which maybe you can explain how to do for our viewers in a second, but if you don't want to do that, then you can just manually do it where, whenever you want, right? Yep, you can just push it down or hold it down however you like. Um, and it has a, a cooldown of a few seconds, so it's not like you constantly have to be pushing it. Yeah. Do you want to explain real quick how to do the numlock trick? Sure. For the numlock trick, you just go into your settings and then you'll go into your change input keys. And then for your keyboard, you have your normal abilities. You'll just go over to your keypad and for the same keys have like one, two, three, and four. And then with your keypad on, you'll hold that key down and turn your keypad off. And it just acts as if you're pushing down that key the entire time. Awesome. So it's all in game. There's two other skills that you can use. Uh, I saved them for single targets or bosses, which we didn't run into in the arena here, mm. but you have Smoke Bomb, which will give a huge boost of damage to you and the Falcon, a lot of flat damage added. And then you have his Falcon Knives, which is also great for single target and clears. 
where he'll attack, but it does have a high mana cost, so I saved that one for just the high health of rares and, of course, the bosses. Now we're going to show off a Shade of Oribus and a Jolra, just so you get a little bit of a idea of how strong the build is. And I think you'll like it. Yeah, the single target's insane on this. Now, another note about the build, this isn't the tankiest build. It is relatively tanky, but it might not be the best choice for a hardcore league starter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this collab with Boardman. Make sure you check him out on YouTube, on Twitch. He does amazing content. He's going to be live loads at the launch of Last Epoch, which is the 21st of February. Hope you guys are enjoying all the content. And thank you so much for watching. Sub if you liked the video. But more importantly, try to die less than I do.